Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj welcoming you for an important session in alcohols, phenols and ethers. In this session, we shall see the general methods of preparation of alcohols in which you can expect definite questions in board exam, right? Okay students, we shall straight away move into the topic that's the methods of preparation of alcohols, okay? So the first method is from haloalkanes or alkyl halides, okay? How to prepare these alcohols from these haloalkanes or alkyl halides, okay? So, haloalkates when treated with dilute aqueous solution of an alkali that is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide or with moist silver oxide that is AgOH gives corresponding alcohols. Okay, when these haloalkanes are treated with the alkalis, right, either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide or this moist silver oxide, okay will be giving alcohols. So, we shall see some examples. This is iodoethane and this is a uh, haloalkane or alkyl halide. Okay, iodoethane when it is treated with potassium hydroxide, what happens? This, um, um, <clears throat> what to say, this will be removed. Okay, Ki will be removed and finally, we will be getting CH3, CH2, OH. Okay, plus Ki, right. So, what is CH3, CH2, OH? It is ethyl alcohol, okay, or ethanol, right, ethanol, right, okay. And the next example which is given is bromoethane. See, this bromoethane, when it is treated with this moist silver oxide, moist silver oxide, we will be getting ethanol again, okay. So, we will get CH3, CH2, OH ethanol plus silver bromide, AgBr. Okay, so AGBR this will be removed like this. Okay, and now the next one is the third one that is this is a tertiary uh, a haloalkane. See when you are when you are see, I have given this is a primary haloalkane. This is also primary haloalkane. See when you are treating this secondary haloalkane. Okay, when you are treating secondary haloalkane with the alkali, you will be getting um, uh, what to say an alkene as well as an alcohol. Okay, so dehydrohalogenation takes place dehydrohalogenation dehydro dehydrohalogenation okay dehydrohalogenation takes place for prime secondary as well as for tertiary okay. now i have taken the uh, tertiary uh, haloalkane or alkyl halide that is 2 bromo 2 methyl propane when you when you will be calling this as a tertiary haloalkane when this uh, ha um, what is, uh, halogen is attached to a carbon, which is attached to three more carbon atoms, then it is said to be a tertiary carbon. This carbon is said to be a tertiary carbon since it is attached to three more carbon atoms. Now, this uh, functional group that is halogen is attached to this carbon, okay, tertiary carbon. That's why it is an example for tertiary halogen, okay. So, 2 bromo, 2 methyl propane. When this is treated with sodium hydroxide, you will be getting. CH3 and alkene, okay, only an alkene you will be getting, okay, CH3, single bond C, CH3, double bond CH2, okay, double bond CH2 plus NaBr, okay, NaBr plus water, okay, plus water, this is what happening, right, how it is removed, see sodium, sodium bromide, this is removed and then OH from here and one hydrogen from this side. Okay, one hydrogen from here is removed as water. Okay, this is how this is an alkene. Okay, so this will be the major product. Alkene will be the major product. Understood, students? So this is how the haloalkanes are getting converted to alcohols. Okay, so we shall see the next methodology that is by reduction of carbonyl compounds. Okay, carbonyl compounds means it, the compounds will be having C double bond O. So when a compound is having C double bond O, we call that as carbonyl compounds. Okay. So, the process is by reduction of carbonyl compounds. So, let us see the first one that is reduction of aldehydes. So, when aldehydes upon reduction with hydrogen in the presence of platinum or lithium aluminum hydride, this will be giving the primary alcohol. So, when an aldehyde is treated with hydrogen in the presence of platinum or in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, we will be getting the primary alcohol. Okay. So, what happens? Let us see here. See this hydrogen. Let's give it there. Uh, getting uh, splitted into H like this and what happens this hydrogen will be getting added up to this one and this hydrogen will be getting added up to this carbon okay so that we will be getting CH3 CH2 okay 
4H, right? So this is ethanol. This is ethanol, okay? This is ethanol. This is how we are getting the primary alcohol. This is a primary alcohol because this uh, uh, functional group, that is OH group, is attached to a carbon atom which is attached to only one carbon atom. That means this is a primary carbon. So this is a primary alcohol. Understood? So the next one is reduction of ketones. So what happens when ketone is uh, reduced? Ketone upon reduction with hydrogen in the presence of platinum or lithium aluminum hydride gives secondary alcohols okay so this is acetone we have taken acetone as a ketone okay when it is reduced in the presence of hydrogen uh, and in the presence of platinum we'll be getting what to say propan to all okay see here this, this hydrogen hydrogen is getting split to like this so now what happens to this hydrogen this will be added up to this one okay and the next hydrogen will be getting added up to this one okay so finally we will be getting the product like this CH3, CH, OH okay then CH3 see here this is a secondary alcohol what is the name of this compound propan 2 all okay see the naming of these alcohols already i have uh, given a video so you can just go through that so that you can get a clear cut idea of how to name these alcohols okay i have name right see here this is a secondary carbon this oh group is attached to a secondary carbon why this is a secondary carbon because this carbon is attached to two more carbon atoms that is why it is called as a secondary carbon right so this is a secondary alcohol understood students next is by reduction of carboxylic acids okay See here, this carboxylic acids can be reduced with lithium aluminum hydride, okay, in the presence of hydrogen to give primary alcohols, okay. So, this is a carboxylic acid and the name of this carboxylic acid is butanoic acid. Why butanoic acid? Here, how many carbon atoms? 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, methane, ethane, propane, butane. So, it is butanoic acid. So, when this butanoic acid is treated with hydrogen in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, you will be getting a primary alcohol. So let us see how this happens, okay, how this hydrogen is getting added up to this butanoic acid. So for, for you to understand, I am splitting this uh, four hydrogens to 2H, H and H, okay. Now let us see how this is getting added up. So this two hydrogen will be getting added up to this carbon and this hydrogen is getting added up to this oxygen and this hydrogen is getting added up to this OH, okay. So let us write the product now, CH3. CH2, CH2, then this, this will be getting converted to CH2, okay, and then OH, is it not? So, we will be having, see this will be getting split up, okay, so we will have plus H2O, okay, water. So, what is the name of this compound? This is butane 1 all, okay, since because the OH group is attached to the first carbon, we are writing 1, okay, OL, okay. So, this is how we are getting the primary alcohol, right. So, let us see the next one that is reduction of esters. So, how this happens, esters can be reduced with lithium aluminum hydride to give a mixture of alcohols. So, we will be getting mixture of alcohol. So, how this is reduced by, by making use of the hydrogen in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, okay. So, this is methyl acetate. I have taken methyl acetate. The ester is methyl acetate. CH3C double bond O O CH3. Okay. How it's getting reduced? Okay. So let us uh, let me split this hydrogen like 2H, just like previous one, 2H, H, H. Okay. So how this is getting added up? So now let us see. This hydrogen is getting added up to this one. Okay. And 2H is getting added up to this carbon. Okay. And the next hydrogen is getting add, getting added to this one. So, write down the product now students, CH3, CH2, OH, okay. This is one product and now what happens here, it splits, okay. So, CH3, OH, alright. So, what are the, what's the name of this compound, CH3, C, this, this is nothing but CH3, CH2, OH, is it not? So, it is ethanol, right. So, the name of this compound is ethanol and this is methanol. So, as I told you earlier, when this ester is reduced in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, it gives mixture of alcohols. So, obviously, we are getting mixture of alcohols, ethanol as well as methanol. Understood, students?
Next methodology is very important. That is from Grignard reagent. Okay, that is Grignard reagent. See, all three types of monohydric alcohols can be obtained from suitable aldehydes and ketones with Grignard reagent, followed by acid hydrolysis. Okay, so by by using this Grignard reagent, it is possible to obtain all the three types of monohydric alcohols. Okay, uh, that is primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, and tertiary alcohol by using this Grignard reagent followed by hy hydrolysis using acid. Okay, so let us see how it is how the primary alcohol is prepared from formaldehyde now. Okay, so this is formaldehyde HCHO. Okay, HCHO. So this is formaldehyde. So I have written like this formaldehyde is treated with the Grignard reagent. What is Grignard? It is methyl magnesium bromide. Methyl magnesium bromide is a Grignard reagent. Okay, now let us see how it is working. Okay, so this um, Mg, see this will be getting split up like this. This o, MgBr will be getting added up to this, and CH3 will be getting added up to this C. Okay, so you'll be getting the product like this H single bond C, CH3, H O MgBr. Now this undergoes acid hydrolysis that is water in the presence of acid. Okay, so this water will be for you to understand it clearly. I am writing like this. Okay, so what happens? This H plus will be getting added up to this O, and this OH minus will be getting added up to this MgBr. So the product will be CH C CH three. Okay, H OH okay, plus Mg OH Br. Okay. So, what is this product? Ethanol, right? Or ethyl alcohol. Ethanol. Ethanol or ethyl alcohol. So, this is a primary alcohol. Okay. This is a primary alcohol. Next, we shall see how to prepare the secondary alcohol. The preparation of secondary alcohol from aldehyde. Except formaldehyde, see, except formaldehyde, all the other aldehydes can be used for the preparation of secondary alcohol. Okay, so using formaldehyde, it is it is possible to produce only the primary alcohol. Okay, so that's why we are not using formaldehyde here. Instead of formaldehyde, we can use other aldehydes. Okay, so I have taken the acetaldehyde, CH3CHO acetaldehyde, in the presence of methyl magnesium bromide, that is the Grignard reagent. Okay, just like the previous time, we, it, this gets split up like this. And this gets added up to this carbon, and MgBr will be getting added up to this O. So we'll be getting the product like this: CH3, C, H, here CH3, O, MgBr. Now this undergoes acid hydrolysis H2O, just like the previous one. Okay, this water gets split up into H plus. OH minus, so this H plus will be getting added up to this O, and OH minus will be getting added up to this. So finally, you'll be getting the product like this: CH3, CH, okay, then CH3, OH, okay. So this is a secondary alcohol, and the name of this one is isopropyl alcohol, or the IUPAC name is propen, free propenol, okay. Propen 2 all. Okay, so this is propen 2 all or isopropyl alcohol. And what's the next product? Rest of the product will be MgOHBr. Okay, so this is how we are preparing the secondary alcohol. So this is a secondary alcohol. Understood, students? So the next one is the preparation of tertiary alcohol from ketone. So tertiary alcohol can be prepared from only ketone. So, I have taken ketone that is the uh, uh, simplest ketone that is acetone, CH3, C double bond O, CH3. So, methyl magnesium bromide. So, the same procedure takes place here, it gets breaks and this gets joined here and the MgBr gets added up to this O. So, you will be getting CH3, C, CH3, here again CH3, O, MgBr. Okay, O, MgBr. Now this undergoes acid hydrolysis H2O H plus okay and this gets split up into H plus OH minus okay. Now this H plus gets added up to this O and OH minus gets added up to this and finally you will get, be getting the product CH3 C 
CH3, CH3, OH. So this is a tertiary alcohol that is tertiary butyl alcohol. Okay, tertiary butyl alcohol. Tertiary butyl alcohol plus you will be getting the product that is Mg OH Br. Okay. So finally we have prepared the uh, tertiary alcohol from ketone using Grignard reagent. Okay. So next is by hydrolysis of ester. See alcohols are obtained by hydrolysis of esters either in the presence of dilute alkali or mineral acids. So when you are hydrolyzing these esters you will be getting mixture of alcohol and acid. Okay. So for this purpose I am using a dilute acid. So I water. Water I have split it into H plus OH minus. Okay. See now what happens. This H plus. Okay. So now this also gets uh, split up. Okay. This also gets split up. Now this H gets added up to this one. And OH gets added up to this one. So that you will be having CH3. C O O H. Okay. Plus C2 H5 O H. So ethanol, this is ethanol, okay, we are getting ethanol and acetic acid, acetic acid. Understood students? So by hydrolysis of ester, it's possible to produce an acid and an ethanol. So this is an important question. Understood students? See the next one is from the aliphatic primary amines. Okay, when an aliphatic primary amine is treated with a nitrous acid, a primary alcohol is obtained. How to produce a nitrous acid by using sodium nitrate and HCl? We are treating sodium nitrate and HCl, you will be getting the nitrous acid HNO2. Okay, you will be getting the nitrous acid HNO2. Okay, so when you are treating this primary aliphatic primary amine in the presence of nitrous acid, you will be getting primary alcohol. Okay, so I have taken this ethyl amine. Okay, ethyl amine I have chosen. And now what happens? How this split surface look like this? Okay, and here. All right. And now this also I am splitting like this. Ethylamine so that you can understand easily. All right. Now what happens? This OH gets added up to CH3CH2. Okay. And this oxygen it gets added up to H2. Okay. And this nitrogen it gets added up to N. So that you will be getting the product as CH3CH2OH. Okay. Ethanol plus so what's here? This nitrogen is getting added up to this nitrogen. So N2 nitrogen. Okay. And then what happened? What's happening? This oxygen is getting added up to this hydrogen. Is it not? So plus water. So for you to understand easily and uh, easily um, uh, learn for the exam, I'm writing like this. Okay. Ethanol or ethyl alcohol. This is how the primary alcohol is prepared from the aliphatic primary amine. Uh, uh, in the presence of nitrous acid. Okay. So the next important one is the industrial preparation of alcohol that is uh, high by using hydration of alkenes. Okay. See alcohols can be prepared by adding water molecules to alkene molecules. Right. This process is known as hydration of alkenes and this is carried out in two ways that is direct method and indirect method. In direct method by acid catalyzed hydration and by indirect uh, next one is the by indirect addition of water. Okay. Here water will be added directly and the next one by indirect method. Okay, so let us see one by one now. See here by acid catalyzed hydration that is by direct addition. Okay, this is direct. Okay, so alkenes can be converted to alcohols by direct addition of water in the presence of acid. So I am taking water here and this is an acid. So this is the um, alkene and this is a, a, what to say 2-methyl prop one ene or isobutylene. The other name for this one is isobutylene okay isobutylene okay so i put naming or common naming everything i have i have dealt earlier please see through my videos right so isobutylene or 2 methyl propone when this is uh, treated with water in the presence of acid what happens is see here this water molecule it splits like this okay splits like this and this H gets added up to this CH2 okay and this OH gets added up to this carbon and finally you will be getting the product CH3 COH CH3 again here CH3 if not 
what is the name of this one this is tertiary butyl alcohol is it not tertiary butyl alcohol tertiary butyl alcohol or two methyl or some other name for this one i pack naming two this is in the this is one two three this is the first carbon second carbon third carbon so alcohol is oh group is present the second carbon is not and in the second carbon one methyl group is also present so two methyl two methyl propan two or understood students next one is the indirect addition of water see here water is directly added to this alkene okay in this methodology but here this is the indirect addition of water in this method an alkene is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid first and then the product obtained is hydrolyzed with water or steam understood so first it is treated for the alkene is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid okay so now what happens let us see see how this sulfuric acid is getting split up let me let me let me write and show you h o s o 3 h okay now what happens is this hydrogen is getting added up to this carbon and this one is getting added up to this carbon okay so you will be getting an adduct first ch3 ch2 o so 3 h okay now what happens this will be hydrolyzed in the presence of water or steam okay so that means h2o so we can write here as steam okay so this i am splitting like this h o h okay h plus o h minus so what is going on here this will be getting added up to this now and this o h will be getting added up to this one okay so what is the product write the product now ch3 ch2 oh plus h2so okay h2so so this is the product okay so we are getting a primary alcohol or an ethanol so what is this this is ethanol okay the next one is very important so for unsymmetrical alkene how this uh, happens see in the case of unsymmetrical alkenes addition of sulfuric acid takes place in accordance with the markovnikov's rule okay in accordance with the markovnikov's rule what is markovnikov's rule see in markovnikov's rule the oh group okay oh group will be attacking the carbon atom which is having lesser number of lesser number of hydrogen atoms Okay, lesser number of hydrogen atom. Okay, the group will be attacking the carbon atom, which is having the lesser number of hydrogen atom. And the H plus, H plus will be attacking the carbon atom, which is having more number of, okay, more number of hydrogen atom. Understood? This is Markovnikov's rule. What is Markovnikov's rule? The OH group will be attacking, will be attacking the carbon atom, which is having the lesser number of hydrogen atom. And H plus will be attacking the carbon atom, which is having more number of hydrogen atom. So, in the case of unsymmetrical alkenes, the addition will be taking place in, in, in the, based on the Markovnikov's rule. Okay? So, this is an unsymmetrical alkene, propene. Unsymmetrical alkene means, when you are breaking here in the, in the double bond, this side only one carbon and this side we are having two carbons. So, this is unsymmetrical. Okay? So, now let us see how this addition is taking place. Sulfuric acid gets split up into, uh, as I told you earlier, H plus O SO3 H. Okay? Now, as I told you earlier, this H plus will be attacking the carbon atom which is having more number of hydrogen atoms. Is it not? Which is having more number of hydrogen atom? Which carbon is having more number of hydrogen atom? This carbon is having more number of atoms. Okay, it's near the double bond. Which carbon is having more number of hydrogen atom? This carbon is having more number of hydrogen atom. So this hydrogen will be getting attached to this carbon. Okay, so this carbon and the rest will be getting attached to this one. Okay, now write down the product students. CH3, CH, O, SO3, H, single bond, CH. Okay. Now what happens? Hydrolysis takes place. Okay. So water that is H2O. Okay. So this I am splitting into H plus 
4H minus. Okay. So now what happens? H plus will be attacking this one. H plus will be attacking this one. Okay. And OH will be attached to this one. Okay. Right. The OH will be attached to the carbon atom which is having lesser number of hydrogen atom. Is it not? So according to Morgan and the OH will be attached, attacking to the carbon atom which is having lesser number of hydrogen atom. This carbon is having lesser number of hydrogen atoms. So automatically this will be attacking here. Okay. So what is the product now? CH3. CH. OH. CH3. Okay. Plus H2SO4. Okay. So we are getting the secondary alcohol. So this is a secondary alcohol. When you are when you are hydrolyzing in the presence of acid and unsymmetrical alkene, we will be getting a secondary alcohol and that too will be taking place based on the Markovnikov's rule. Okay. So the next one is the hydroboration oxidation process and this will be taking place in the in the uh, on the basis of anti Markovnikov's rule. Okay. What is Markovnikov's rule? OH will be attacking to the carbon atom which is having lesser number of hydrogen atom and H plus will be attacking the carbon which is having more number of hydrogen atom. So, anti Markovnikov's rule is just the opposite. So, hydrogen will be attacking the carbon which is having lesser number of hydrogen and OH will be attacking the carbon atom which is having more number of hydrogen atoms. Okay, just the opposite will be taking place here. So, in this method, an alkene is treated with diborane that is B2H6 and the product obtained is oxidized with alkaline hydrogen peroxide. Okay, alkaline hydrogen peroxide. So, this is very important that is hydroboration oxidation process. So, let us see. See how I am splitting this one, B2H6, okay. So, I am taking only the uh, single one that is HBH2, okay, HB2, okay. Now, what happens as I told you earlier, hydrogen will be attacking the carbon atom which is having the lesser number of hydrogen, at, uh, hydrogen atom, is it not? Because anti morconic also. So, this will be occupying this carbon, right. And BH2 will be attacking this carbon, okay. So, what is the product now, right? CH3, CH2, CH2, BH2. Is it not? Okay. Now, again, so to this product, we are adding up again one more alkene. That is CH3, CH, double bond CH2. Okay. Now, what happens? This BH2, this, this one will be getting added up to the so this carbon atom, okay. So to this carbon atom, okay. So this will be this will be getting this carbon will be getting attached to this one, okay. So we will be getting the product like this. Let me write CH3, CH2, CH2, B, H, CH2, CH2. CH2 CH3. Okay. Now again, this is treated with one more CH3, CH double bond CH2. So what happens again? So we will be getting a product like this B. This will be attached to this one. Okay. So B, CH2, CH2, CH3. Here, CH2, CH2, CH3, here, CH2, CH2, CH3, okay. Now, as I told you earlier, this will be again oxidized with alkaline hydrogen peroxide, okay. Now, this is being treated with alkaline hydrogen peroxide that is 3 H2O2. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. So, what happens in the presence of alkaline signal? So, OH minus and oxidation is taking place. So, we will be getting the product like this that is will be getting this will be getting split up okay. That is this B will be uh, added up with OH okay. So, we will be getting the rest of the product as CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. So, the product will be 3 propanol, okay, 3 molecules of propanol plus B OH thrice, okay. 
So this is propanol. Okay. So finally, you'll be getting propanol. That is a primary alcohol. So hydroboration oxidation process will be taking place on the basis of anti-Morkonikov's rule. That is just the opposite of this one. Okay. So and we'll be getting the primary alcohol as a product. Okay, students. Well, fine students, you might have understood what I have taught today. Let me meet you with another important topic in my next video. Until then, it's Dr. Anitara signing off from you. Thanks for watching.